of rainbows and what's on the other side. Rainbows are visions, but only illusions, and rainbows have nothing to How you doing? Justin here today. We are checking out the Rainbow Connection by the all-time legendary amazing singer Kermit the Frog. Uh, this is of course from the Muppet movie. It's a really great song there. Lots of interesting chords. Good fun one to play this one. Big one for the kids as well. Um, originally of course played on a banjo but I think it sounds great on a ukulele. Uh, so what I'm going to do is we're going to go to a close-up and check out all of the chords first, how to play the main song and how to strum and stuff and then we'll come back and have a look at the intro in a little bit more detail because I've just done a little arrangement of the banjo part. So uh, let's get to that close-up. So starting off in the verse, we need an A chord. Second fret, first fret, open, open. It's just one bar. Then we put third finger down in the second fret of string two, and we've got an F sharp minor chord. Now the next chord we need is D, and what I'd recommend is you just slide first finger up so that all of the fingers are in the second fret. It is a bit of a squeeze. Shouldn't be too difficult to do though, that way and then to an E7, which is 1st fret, 2nd fret, open, 2nd fret. Okay, so A, F sharp minor, D to E7. It does that three times around this song. D chord to E7, and now it's A to F sharp minor to two bars of D. Now we got a new part. So this next section starts off with a D major seventh chord, okay, which is a bar with the first finger at the second fret and little finger going down the fourth fret of string one. Okay, it's a D major seven, and then we lift off little finger and we get a D6 chord. So we've got a bar of D major 7, a bar of D6. Back to another bar of D major 7, and another bar of D6. Then we go to a C sharp minor 7, which is 1st fret, 1st fret, open, 2nd fret. Okay, I tend to use my fingers 1, 2, nothing, and then 3rd finger. Okay, it's C sharp minor 7, and it's that for 4 whole bars. Then we go to B minor, which is B minor 7. Now, some of you are probably going to get a little bit confused and go, bah, but you just called that a D6 chord. So it is actually the same fingering. It's just got a different harmonic function. So uh, it's actually a bit weird how sometimes the same shape can have different names, but it's not uncommon on the uke. So uh, get used to it. That one's a B minor 7. Then we go to an E7, C sharp minor 7 to a new chord, F sharp 7. Okay, F sharp 7, 3rd fret, 4th fret, 2nd fret, 4th fret. Lovely little chord, that one. So that last part, B minor, to E7, to C sharp minor 7, to F sharp 7, to B minor, to E7, to A. Okay? Let's run through that whole verse. A are there, F sharp minor, D going to E7, and A's on the F sharp minor of D to E7. A chords are F sharp minor, but D the E7, and A going to F sharp minor to D for two bars. Now to D major 7. D major 7 to D6 
to D major 7 to D6 to C sharp minus 7 for 4 bars B minor 2 E7 to C sharp minus 7 to F7 F sharp 7 to B minor 2 E7 to A Okay, that's all of the chord progressions. Actually, we've got one more chord progression that we need to uh, look at quickly, which is the bridge. And the bridge is going E7 for a bar, F sharp minor for a bar, to A, to D, to A, to E7, and then to an E7 sharp five. You could either move that third finger forward or add a little finger into the third fret of string one gives you an E7 sharp five. That's the this part there. On the first under it's A, we D that it's A to E7 sharp five. Then we're back into another verse again. For the intro, we start off with a regular A chord, second fret, first fret, open, open, and then put little finger down in the fourth fret of string one. And we're going to pick the two outside strings first of all. So thumb playing string four, third finger playing string one. So we play those together. And then we use first finger to pick string three, second finger to pluck string two. Then we pluck string one again, then string four, and then string two. So together, third string, second string, first string, fourth string, second string. Together, third string, second string, first string, fourth string, second string. And now we move up to a variation of our D chord. So first finger barring the second fret, and little finger going up in string in fret five on the thinner string. And this time we pluck the outside two strings again, then third string, second string. One and two and three and one and two, three. One and two and three and one and two, three. You really don't want to do anything too complicated with the strumming on this song. You don't, it really doesn't need it. So just starting off with your really simple one, two, three, one, two, three. And then if you really want to, add an up strum after two. So one, two, and three, one, two, and three, one, two, and three. If you really want to, you could go one, two, and three, and down, down, up, down, up. But you really, you don't need to do anything too complicated with it, you know, just make sure you keep the pulse on the one, two and the three and then add some other up strums if you really want to. So I uh, hope you enjoy playing this song. I think it's a real great one for the ukulele, a lot of fun. And I'll see you for plenty more ukulele lessons and guitar lessons very soon. You take care of yourselves. Bye bye.